What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, as the title thumbnail say, I did get some new fish uh, that eventually will be going into the 75 gallon tank, but for now are just a little bit too small to do that. And I'm going to get right into it. Here they are. It is two electric blue Jack Dempsey's little tiny babies. This is pretty much the only only way that you can get these fish is very very hard to come by uh, any ones that are good size and uh, they're pretty small that one on the left there's a little bit bigger and uh, I'm gonna do this all over again I'm gonna set these guys in here obviously like I said they're just too small to go in the 75 gallon tank for now uh, kind of redid this tank yesterday just a simple little 10 gallon just for them, them to be in might add uh, a little more structure in here maybe some plants in the back whatnot they don't really need any of that uh, just this right here will do and I'm not gonna put a date on it just because these guys are a slow growing fish I really don't know how long they're gonna be in here uh, just because I'm, there's not really a specific size I'm trying to get them to before I put them in the 75 gallon it's more of I need to make sure that they are just ultimately big enough to be able to hang with those fish and also are eating really really good before I move them so like I said I'm doing this all over again and what I mean by that is I've had these guys before in fact if you've been following the channel now for some time you know that I had two electric blue jack Dempsey's they were two of my favorite fish and uh, two of a lot of your guys favorite fish as well uh, I had a lot of comments about those fish and eventually what happened was uh, something went wrong just with those fish. So what I mean by that is I was keeping them with my African cichlids and I'd gotten them really really small like the ones I just got today several years ago probably uh, I would say three or so years ago when they were tiny. It took them a very very long time to get up to about four or five inches but I had them up to that size and I had them with my African cichlids and eventually they started to breathe really really heavily and there was nothing really visually wrong with them as far as like on their actual body it was just the fact that they were breathing excessively and that's something that you would typically point to, towards you know something's off as far as one of your parameters or maybe there's just flat out not enough oxygen in the water and none of those two things were true so something above my knowledge happened with them I'm not really sure sometimes stuff just happens whenever you keep fish you know and especially when you keep fish as long as I have for several years now now, stuff starts to happen you know weird things happen so unfortunately I lost those guys a few months ago and I've been wanting to get two new ones to raise them back up because eventually I want them to go like I said into the 75 gallon South American tank uh, that was where those two electric blue jack Dempsey's were gonna go before I set that tank up like I said they were in my 55 African Sigla tank uh, and before I had that 75 gallon set up I was planning on moving them in there and then like I said they passed away so once I do get these guys up to a good enough size to where like I said I think they can hang with everybody in the 75 gallon tank and are eating really 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 good have got some good weight on them then I'll go ahead and move them over I'm not trying to get them really big either like I said they're pretty slow growing fish uh, mine it took several years as I mentioned for them to even get four or five inches so but that's why I said I don't really want to put a date on it as far as how long I think they're going to be in that 10 gallon just because I really don't know. But the 75 gallon is doing really, really good. Everybody is getting along great. The Buck 2 Tetras are still behaving just fine. Nobody's missing any scales. Uh, the new Clown Loaches are doing great as well. They're starting to get a little more used to me. Uh, not 100%. There's other two in the back. Uh, but they're getting there. They're starting to come out a little more now. Normally when I would walk up to the tank, they would just run everywhere. Uh, but they're, they're starting to get a little more kosher now. So as I mentioned, I will be adding more of these guys in here. I want to get it up to at least a school of six of, of the clown loaches in here. And uh, plus the electric blue jack Dempsey's. And that will pretty much be it. And by the way, I'm really just trying to get them to maybe the size of that blue car right there, which is not a very big size. Uh, like I said, it's more of just getting them eating really, really good before they go in here because they're going to have to get up there and get their own food, if that makes any sense, because every one of these fish in this tank is very, very food aggressive. So here's a tank that I've not shown in quite a while. This is my Aranda tank, even though, as you see, there's actually angelfish in here now. Uh, for a while there, I just had these three Arandas in here, that red cap, that uh, red and white one and that is actually a blue Aranda he is not really blue anymore uh, but when I got him trust me he was but over the course of about eight months he completely changed which you see that in Arandas they do that sometimes and so do you know other fish and other goldfish especially but how these angels got in here and that random pearl grommy is because somebody was actually giving these fish away and uh, I figured 
I could take them in, and this was really the only tank that I thought would be a good fit for them, and they've been in here now for a good two months and have done really, really well. So that angel, and that's actually a koi angel right there, and then like I said, that uh, that pearl grommy, and he's actually a really, really nice pearl grommy. So uh, yeah, they all do really, really good, but that's literally all that's in this tank, and it's it's doing really, really well. The plants are doing well. I actually got that big Anubius from uh, that same person. And, uh, yeah, this tank is doing pretty well. I just don't show it all that much because there's not a whole lot going on with it. And I really don't plan on adding really anything else to this tank, fish-wise. Figured I would give a quick update on Chungus the flower horn. His tank's a bit cloudy. I just got done doing, doing a water change on his tank earlier. Uh, but he's doing great. Mean, as always, does not like me at all. I have to feed him as I'm doing any kind of maintenance on his tank because he will straight up attack me. And he just flat out does not like me getting in his tank or even coming up near his tank as you can see right there and by the way this is you would think that it stresses them out uh, but this is actually a way to get their cock their hump on their head bigger it's actually making them more aggressive um, and you know I've seen some people put a mirror up to the tank and they see the reflection and think it's another flower horn getting them more aggressive actually uh, for some reason brings that hump out even more so sometimes I'll just walk into the tank and act like I'm headbutting him and doing this junk right here and I don't know something about it it just makes him flare up more it definitely does make him show more color I do notice that for sure uh, but yeah he's uh he's quite the character and would not even not one percent allow uh, anything else into his tank Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one. There they are. All right, so one thing I did think about when I put these guys in here is in this tank particularly, they're gonna have a light color. And what I mean by that is they're gonna be light, light in color. They're not gonna darken up. And that all has to do because of this substrate here. Uh, and when these guys are young, they're usually a lighter blue anyway. I'll show this guy over here. Um, but they're gonna be kind of more like that color right there. They might show a little bit more blue, uh, but I just wanted to say that because uh, I know people talk about how fish color up and whatnot, and um, these guys are probably not gonna show a whole bunch of dark coloration in this tank just because the substrate is very, very light. Now, when we move them and when they get older, that can be a little bit different of a story, but uh, you can already see some really, really nice blue in that guy right there. Uh, but they're just, they're not gonna show a ton of color in this tank, so I uh, just wanted to kind of put that out there so people would understand why they don't look like they're all colored up because I know people would comment about that in the past on uh, the other videos when I had my other old Electra Blue Jack Dempsey's people would ask about the color and would ask if they're stressed out or not these guys like other cichlids and like other fish they change and lighten up in color all based off of their substrate and their surroundings so uh, they're not stressed out, it's just, they're stressed out right now, obviously, because I just put them in here, but in future videos, when we get these guys eating good and they look like a light color like this, it's not because they're stressed out, it's just because of the substrate. But, these guys should do just fine in here. As I mentioned, I might add some plants in here just to give them a little more cover, but once these guys get adjusted to this tank and get used to me walking up to the tank and feeding them, uh, there's really not going to be a big need for that. I'm really just trying to give these guys room, a little bit of structure for them to feel, you know, somewhat comfortable in here. Or <laughs> they, will, they will feel comfortable. What I mean by that is just they don't need a whole lot of structure in here. They're not a really timid fish once they get used to you. So, But that is pretty much going to do it for now. Uh, I'm glad that I finally have got two of these fish back now. As I mentioned several other times, they're very slow growing, but it is good to go ahead and have these guys. And uh, it's at least going to take a few months. I don't know how long exactly, but it's at least going to take a few months to get another inch or two on those guys and get them eating really, really good and get them really fattened up before I feel really positive you know about moving them into the tank with all those other fish because as I mentioned they're very very food aggressive in that tank and I want to make sure that they're eating really good and can really fend for themselves and get enough food before I actually throw them in that tank but if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give it a like down below hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel and if you guys have any questions about those fish or any other fish you saw in the video be sure to leave them down below in the comments pretty soon as I mentioned in the last video I'll be setting up the outdoor guppy pond that I do just in the summertime and we should be breeding some really really nice looking Dumbo ear guppies out there over the next few months and I'll also be doing a full in-depth feeding video on the big 800 gallon pond pretty soon as well. So thank you guys for watching as always and with that being said I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.